Yo, Nick here from Nick's Kicks and Comics, and um, let's talk about a flipping success story. Not a flipping success story, but uh, taking one comic book, turning it to another, a success story, if you will. Okay, so a few weeks ago, um, there was a book that dropped, uh, an Amazing Spider-Man book with uh, an 8 Mile homage with Eminem on the cover. Uh, pretty hard to get, 5,000 copies. Uh, you can only get them through the Eminem website. And uh, I was fortunate enough to snag two copies. Two copies. Uh, like when these things drop, I mean, I didn't, I, I'm a big, amazing Spider-Man fan. But I this cover I can care less about. So uh, I decided to take it. I was like, all right, it's cool if I add to the collection. If not, we'll see what people want. But... People started to go crazy for them. Crazy for them. So I got two copies. Um, when I when I received them, they came in like a record album size box. So it was like a flat mailer, and it left a lot of space for bumping around. And they weren't they weren't taped down. There was no interior box. They were all kind of shuffled about. So, luckily enough, this these two copies came in decent condition. In decent condition. Uh, I'd say I had two copies, like I said. I sold one raw on eBay for, I want to say, 170 bucks. Uh, and the other copy, that copy was probably like a 9294. Um, I sold that one for, like I said, about 170 bucks on eBay. Uh, the original prices on these were, I think, $35. Uh, and the other copy looked pretty good to me. Uh, looked pretty decent. It kind of needed some uh, freshening up, so to speak. So I um, pressed it, sent it off to CGC. Uh, I was lucky enough to get a 9.8 back. So nine eights in the beginning were going for two thousand dollars, I want to say, some outrageous price, some crazy price. But uh, as is with these covers, quickly start to drop. So I was able to throw mine up on eBay uh, and sell mine for I want to say twelve hundred bucks. Which was still under market value at the time, but rapidly drop, they rapidly dropping. So uh, I was able to take that money, turn it into this. Let me see if we focus up. Highly debated, of course. First appearance of Wolverine. First appearance of Wolverine and Cameo. Uh, either which, it's been debated over across the years, thanks to Overstreet and Marvel, just not getting their shit straight. So, um, people tend to have a negative connotation att attached to flipping. But for me, that's part of the joy of it. Uh, I'm not out there cheating to get them. I'm waiting in line like everybody else. I'm not using any. Uh, I'm not using any bots. I'm not using any special VPN stuff. It's just me going into the queue like anybody else, and I was lucky enough to get them. So I think as a comic book collector, this is kind of the ideal situation you want: buy low, sell high. Turn it into something you really want. Um, for me, that 180 wasn't really on my list, but a deal came across that was so good that I couldn't turn it down. Couldn't turn it down, especially now with the potential on it, uh, with the movie coming up, uh, one of the blue chips, and the debate if it does fall where it says first first true appearance of Wolverine, uh, that'll be a a major key. So just a little bit less than a major one. I mean, everybody will still want 181 in that cover, but you know, it's still a good one to have, and much better 
for that essentially that $60 investment between buying and grading that M&M book. Uh, so flipping success story, I'll take those all day. I, I, I love it so much. The feeling you get when you do something like that is 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 what you want as a collector. Also what you want, boxes from friends. So this box comes from Tyler. Tyler. Shattered Glass Comics reviews. Also one of the, one half of the, or one quarter of the WAC Comics people. Uh, knows I'm on a Scotty Young kick. I know he's an invincible guy. So I sent him Marvel Team Up 14, I think it was. Uh, first appearance of Invincible in the Marvel Universe. Uh, I know he's big on that, so he sent me in return. Scotty Young. I didn't have this cover. Needed this cover. Another pretty awesome Scotty Young. If you guys can see, I got a little wall going on here. So uh, This is awesome. Uh, looks pretty decent. More than pretty decent. Uh, with these white covers, you can never tell, but uh, I'm going to send that one off also. And there's something else in here. I don't know if it's actually anything, but... Hey! Hey! All right, my man. I want to say, I, I instantly want to say something mean about it, but this is such a sweet gesture. It, I'll maintain this until I no longer want to talk to him, which is always, could be minutes away, but I hate to love him. I hate to love him just because just when you want to strangle him this will go up on the wall probably back here where nobody can see it or maybe right there where everybody can see it thank you Tyler Glass appreciate it that's awesome man watercolor even with the tile I don't even want to know what those little droplets are. I hope I hope he cried as he made them, made this, because he didn't want to be nice to me. But this is Nick's Kicks and Comics Noir. First appearance. You guys saw it here first. All right. So um, my advice to you guys, stay friends with people, because they're sending you cool shit. Also... You work hard, you get in the right situation, you can turn 35 bucks into a major key. I think that's it for now. So uh, we'll catch you guys later. No no two nerd dads this week. Uh, technical issues. Uh, so we'll hopefully come back next week. I think that's it. Check us out on the Illuminati Friday nights in the mix. DJ Links. Uh, I don't know what's on the agenda. I think The Last of Us will be, but I don't want to say stick around. See you later.